In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for copper to nitrate plus hydrogen sulfide gas. So the first thing we need to do with these net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. I can see that I have two nitrate ions here and only one over here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the HNO3. That fixes the nitrates. Now we have two hydrogens. Those are good. One sulfur, one sulfur, and then one copper, one copper. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we write the state for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble, AQ. That's going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions. We're going to call this H2S a gas. We could say that it was aqueous as well if it was dissolved in water. It really doesn't matter. We'll get the same answer either way. It's just one will be a gas and one will be aqueous. So we'll leave that as a gas. For CUS, this is copper 2 sulfide. Sulfides are insoluble with some exceptions like sodium sulfide or potassium sulfide. So this is going to be insoluble. That means it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we're going to put S. It's going to be a solid. And then HNO3, that's nitric acid, strong acid. That'll be aqueous. So we have our states. Now we split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We said that nitrate, this whole thing right here, this ion, that's going to be 1 minus. Since we have two of them, this transition metal, copper, that has to be 2 plus for the net charge to be 0. So we have the copper 2 ion, and I'll write the states later, plus 2 nitrate ions. And then for gases and for weak electrolytes, if this was aqueous, it would be a weak electrolyte. We don't split those apart, so we're just going to have H2S. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, CUS, that's a solid. We do not split that apart. And then for the HNO3, hydrogen group 1, and the whole nitrate ion, we said that as a 1 minus. So we have two hydrogen ions, and then we'll have two nitrate ions. And these are the products in our net ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't really changed, so we're not interested in them. As I look at the reactants, I see I have these two nitrate ions right here. And in the products, I have two nitrate ions. So we can cross those out. But everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for copper 2 nitrate plus hydrogen sulfide gas. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for CuNO3 2 plus H2S. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have this 2 plus here, and here we have 2 times 1 plus, so 2 plus on this side. So charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. If we had called this H2S aqueous, we just have an AQ here. That would be the only difference, because if this is aqueous, it's a weak acid, it's a weak electrolyte, and we wouldn't split it up. This is Dr. V. And thanks for watching.